What's going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome to RF Sculpts and today I would like to talk about how you to properly move your poly paint from ZBrush over to Blender a whole lot easier. This is an updated to my last video and if you hadn't seen that which uses texture maps please check that video out below so let's get into it. Okay everybody so this video was inspired by a comment by uh, the YouTuber Michael. He says hey I noticed the FBX export plugin wasn't working as well. It works if you use the export button under the tool menu. You can choose FBX and it brings over the poly paint. And I was really inspired by this, so I went ahead and checked it out. And so we're gonna go over how to do that really quickly and just show you that it does work. So if we come into ZBrush, you can see that I have my really amazing Vegeta model, which will be available at some point soon. So check in for that. But you can see here that it has poly paint on it and we are ready to go for exporting. So what you need to do is if you come over to your tool palette, you can go ahead and hit this export button here, which immediately will bring up, oh, you have the option for GoZ, Maya, FBX, OBJ, STL, et cetera, et cetera. So you'll click the FBX option, and when you go to hit save, it's actually gonna bring up some options here. You'll choose the simple one, which is visible, and then usually default is selected, so you choose visible. And then also it, it defaults at FBX 2020. I find this FBX format to be a little problematic. So I choose FBX 2019, seems to be okay. Um, export cameras is defaulted on as well, but I like to turn that off and everything else should be normal. Go ahead and hit OK and that will generate the FBX that you need to move over into Blender. Okay, so now we have our FBX from ZBrush and we're over in Blender. And as you see, I loaded it up already and we're under the shading tab, of course. And now we have our node set up. So all you have to do from here is go ahead and hit Shift A, come up to Input and, you, and there should be an option for vertex colors and coal. But if there's not, all you need to do is click Attribute, drop it down, right in here, type in capital C-O-L, hit Enter, and then drag your color all the way over to your base color. And as you can see now, my poly paint from ZBrush in Vegeta's hair is now blue. So that's it. That's all you need to do. Thank you so much to Michael for bringing this to my attention. I thought it was amazing. If you are interested in using texture maps, go ahead and check out my last video, which I talked about how to bring poly paint over using texture maps and UVs. And as always, thank you guys so much. Check out my Twitch channels if you want to go ahead and see me live stream uh, all of my characters and stuff that I do. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like this type of video. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.